In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a main section div and a footer div uh, to our first draft, draft of our web page before we upload it to the server. So in our last tutorial we had created this header div uh, with the h1 um, text at the top here of our page. So to add a main section div we're going to go to the insert panel once again only this time instead of a header div we're going to choose a section div and you can notice there's lots of different types of divs here for this purpose we want the section div however instead of putting it at the insertion point we're going to click on this pull down menu and choose after tag and this is going to position our div where we want it exactly and we want it exactly to come after the header tag. We don't want a class rule, instead we want another ID rule for our main section div uh, and we're going to call it main. Then we're going to click OK. Uh, make sure that you have the main content div, the main section div selected and with it selected choose the CSS designer panel and we're going to add a rule to make it 750 pixels and centered and it's going to be the same type of rule we did for header so we go to selector click on plus it has the right name hashtag main we hit return or enter go to the properties window choose layout and width select pixels and make it 750 pixels then scroll down to margin the margin properties click next to the left margin and choose auto and then do the same with the right margin auto in addition however we're going to add 20 pixels margin to the top of the main content or the main section div to separate it a little bit from the header div so we're going to go to the margin top property click inside there and instead of setting it to auto we're going to type in 20 as in pixels and you can see it gives us 20 pixels um, distance between the header div and the main content div I'm going to collapse the designer window and I could uh, and I should put some really inter interesting text in here in the main content of my uh, web page however I'm not quite ready to do that right now so I want to put some placeholder text in here just so I can continue to, des to design my page and see how it looks to do that I'm going to go to my favorite lorem ipsum site or fake latin website uh, it's called lorem ipsum or lipsum.com Lorem Ipsum is the title of the page and uh, if you go to this page you'll notice down the bottom of the page there's a generate Lorem Ipsum button click on that select some text copy it and then I'm going to toggle back to Dreamweaver click inside the main section div and paste my uh, placeholder text and for those of you who want something a little bit more fun, you can also uh, find websites like Cupcake Ipsum, and there are various Lorem Ipsum themes that you can search for on the web. So you want to put some more fun type of uh, placeholder text you can. So there's my main content area. And then I just need to add a footer div to my uh, page. So to do that, go back to the insert panel choose footer once again I want to add it after the tag but not the header I want to add it after the main section so I'm building my page here from top to bottom instead of the class field I go into the ID area it's going to be a footer rule I click OK once again make sure the footer is selected choose CSS designer click on the plus symbol to add a rule for hashtag footer hit return make the width you guessed it 
750 pixels and margins I want left auto right auto and I'm also going to add 20 pixels of margin to the top of the footer div so it separates it as well from the main section of the page. Now I want to add uh, some information to the footer and usually the footer area of a website has the author or the owner of the page and the copyright information. So I'm going to put my name and copyright symbol and the year in here. I'm going to add NOFs. I can't use a keyboard shortcut however for HTML. I have to use a correct HTML symbol. And to do that, you simply go to insert all the way down to HTML and all the way down to character and look for copyright. And there's the copyright symbol. And then I'm going to have a space and put in 2017. And so there is my draft web page. Um, ready to be uploaded to the uh, server. But before I do that, I'm going to preview it in the browser. And once again, to do that, let's go back to our real-time preview icon in the bottom right-hand corner here. Click on that. I'm going to choose Safari. Yes, I want to save it. And yes, I also want to save the style sheet. I'm going to toggle to the browser. And there it is. And you can see, uh, if I resize the page, um, it centers itself, does everything it's supposed to do, uh, looks magnificent. And now, in the next tutorial, we're going to upload this to the server so everybody else can appreciate it.